Good to me. Where are we going? Your head. That's all right. Well, he's got his dad's talent. He gets you to say very nice things until in the end. <laughs> Did dad ever do that to you? No, actually, he did work to me. Well, am I too posh to succeed, do you think, Greg? Uh, no, your father, gra your father Matt, grounded you. It's all right. You're right. Well, Greg, it's a real treat to be here at Wembley with you. Is there a stage of the tournament you have in mind which, if we reached, you'd be content? Well, strange things can happen. So it's not impossible you can win, but we're in a tough group. Getting out the group's the hardest part. You're stepping back as chairman rather than getting enticed as a fan. Well, I think there's a danger of getting too excited and that, you know, we're going to win everything. We know it's uh, tough. We know we've got a limited number of top-class English players now. If they can all stay fit, we'll be all right. So have we got a chance? We've always got a chance. Mm -hmm. And if you look back at the last 10 to 20 years, England's performances in the major tournaments. What, what do you think has been the main reason for, for their failure? We're not very good at taking penalties. <laughs> I mean, the truth is, if you look back, if we'd won those penalty shootouts, we'd have been seen to have been a successful side. Actually, we're not good at penalties. Uh, hopefully, this time we will be. And we've got Mickey Lambert, who scored, I think, his last 15 penalties. So, you know, if we get to penalties, I hope to see him on the pitch. Well, hopefully it won't even go to penalties. So you've been in the job as FA chairman for almost a year now. Has it been largely as you expected? I've had these sort of jobs before, you know, where, where you're always under media scrutiny. Early on, I said I wanted, I was concerned that there were not enough English players playing in the Premier League. Well, we proposed four different things. One, only the one that's got all the pubs to these B teams, um, which interestingly has happened in almost every country across Europe. Uh, somehow the, the Brits always think that they can't learn from anyone else. A lot of people were critical. I say to them, we've got to do something, otherwise in you know, the World Cup after next, we'll be struggling. Moving on, Greg, from the world of football to the world of television, have you got any advice for me? I think too many interviewers today are either too soft or and a bit sycophantic, or they are too aggressive. I think what your dad did over the years was, was the way forward. In other words, be polite, be nice, but always be independent. One of, one of the messages I give to everyone when they're going up the ladder is just because you've got a better job, don't try to be something else. Be, just be you. What you see is me. I shan't do any of it for much longer. I'm going to go and go fishing in Hampshire instead. <laughs> well, I hope very much you do go on longer and then you enjoy the fishing. It's been an absolute delight as ever. Thank you very much. It's good, isn't it? It's good. It's good. Right. Thank you very much indeed. Can we just do a shot of you out on the balcony? Yeah, looking at the fish. Looking where? Oh, there's a glass there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs>